Ah, it's just one of those things that we wake up with every day. Creativity. Some days we don't want to be creative, but your mind has already put that in, in your field. It, it's created this idea that it doesn't want to be creative, but it still took creativity to come up with that idea. You see what I mean? It's always going in our mind, heart, and soul, and then we wonder why we keep crashing. Because something in there said, let's be creative. And you said, no. So it's throwing a king-sized two-year-old baby fit. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. There you are. There you are. It's been a while. Been a long time. And I, I got to tell you, I have been on so many different tours. If I'm not doing lectures, I'm, I'm at junkets. Uh, and, and, and if I'm not doing junkets, then I'm, I'm performing on stage. It has been a while. I have missed you so much. Oh, my eyes are always on the clock, though. Oh, the darkest part about being a creative person is that I live a Google Calendar lifestyle. To go from a one-time structured daily lifestyle inside the world of radio to now, it's, it's whatever you want to do. You've got the power of choice. I heard a quote last night. The quote, we need music, art, and poetry. Good people won't be remembered. You might talk about them for 50 years, but then it's over. I got that from that new Colin Farrell movie, Banshees. We need music, art, and poetry. Good people won't be remembered. You might talk about them for 50 years, but then it's over. It opened my eyes on living out this decision to be on this Google Calendar schedule. No matter how hard I work today, trust me, there's nobody inside the modern ranks of radio that speak of how deeply dedicated, compassionate, and passion-driven I was during my days on those towers. What I do today with interviews and or writing adds to the long-term presence of why we all have creative minds and spirits. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world, writing things out. We can talk about it all day, but we're going to forget about it. Art, music, and poetry. Do something in those areas. Put things in place. Yeah, Mike over there, he's, he's a good guy. But that might be the last time we talk about Mike being a good guy, if you know what I mean. This is The Daily Mess. When your mind gets locked up, the goal is to reignite it, right? To send out energy. To not force feed or force that voice inside you to really kind of uh, get out here. No, you just got to listen to everything that surrounds you. There's presence in all things during any time of your personal silence. What brought us to the lockup can come with several excuses, which cannot be used as fuel. Unlocking the block requires a sense of balance. To know what's expected, then move toward it. The mission and or decision is to not accept the silence as anything but a moment of awareness, to take note of it. To begin with openness, to be ready for change and challenge without allowing it to be the dominant mindset or mood swing. Growing outward, knowing your presence is to reach others. Going inside takes you away. What we have to do is drop that ticket to ride. Be yourself. Learn to rise. I bump into people every day that'll be right in the middle of a conversation boom, they're gone. And they'll go, I don't know what I was talking about. It's the imagination that's getting locked up. Now, professionals and, and many people around us will tell you that it's because there's so much going on around us that, that you, you could be having a conversation and not realize your position in that conversation. And so your mind goes a different direction and you start thinking about other things. In fact, I was just with Joel Stein. Joel Stein has a brand new podcast, This Week's Story. And, and we were talking about situations like that where, where we were talking about the IFB and television. How can, how can, why did your producer talk to you while you're on the air and you're supposed to be listening to somebody that you're interviewing in a live situation? And so it's, it's learning how to position yourself in knowing what you're saying, but don't use muscle memory to keep going with what you're saying. It's being aware and staying true to that and having the strength to say, hold on a sec, I'm going to get to it. If something else is going to be is, is really kind of getting your attention, staying true to where you are requires exercise. 
you've got to be able to do it. When your mind gets locked up, the goal is to reignite, to send out energy, to not force feed, but to listen to all that surrounds you. There's presence in all things during any time of your personal silence. What brought us to the lockup? That's what you talk about to yourself later on. I do a defrag journal. That's how I break things down. What took me here? Why did I go there? Where was my focus? And you're right. There's so much going on in the world today that we could be right here in the center of this conversation, but your mind is somewhere else. How do you strengthen up that muscle? By doing exactly what I just did a few seconds ago. Hold on. I'll get to you in a moment. And you've got to be able to, it's not that you're being an ass or you're being conceited or overconfident. You're telling that one thought to your side or that person that keeps coming up to you and nagging you, hey, hang on, I'll, I'll, I'm coming, okay? But let me deal with this first and I'm coming to you. And, and I'll do that with people. I'll say one thing, like when, when people come up and, and they, they're buying lottery tickets, they will sit there and shoot out 15 paragraphs and expect me to remember the first word. I'm not going to. So what I'll do is I'll say, what we're going to do is we're going to do this one ticket at a time. And that's how I'm going to push this button. Because if, if I get this wrong, it comes out of my pocket. So slow down. And for a Southerner, you're talking way too damn fast. Because when I came here in 85, uh-uh, you weren't talking that fast. So get control of what surrounds you. To listen to all that surrounds you, that is the presence of now. Staying there requires awareness. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.